So let's say you just want to close your door. No problemo. So you just take it here and once you get here, you, you just reach up and then you, you lift up your ductwork and then a random putty knife falls down from the wall that should never have been there. And then you just kind of, just kind of get them over there. And then you got to make sure your latch is lined up with wherever imaginary it latches to. And, um, perfect. Since I originally shot that video showing you all the fun things in this room, uh, the world's changed. It's probably not essential, and by probably not, I mean it's not essential to uh, be repairing my wife's workout room right now. There's no reason we should be going to Home Depot for these things. We shouldn't be buying these things out in public. Uh, generally, this is not a non-essential project. But that's just gonna change how we're gonna do things around here. So the video I'm about to show you was shot previously. Um, it was when things were a little bit better in the world. Welcome to my dungeon. No, basement. It's a very, very nice basement. Not seedy at all. So, <laughs> oh man, it looks awful. Um, let's, take, let's just take a quick pano of what we're, we're working on in this new project I decided to take on. Let's be very clear, only saw two, three, and seven were shot here. Four and six were shot somewhere else. Not not my not my basement dungeon. Let me talk to you about all the fun. Let me show you all the fun things that I found down here because it's just the gift that keeps on giving. And I'll go over some of our plans too. First off, I want to start with this door because I love it. So let's just look at the construction method here because since this is shiplap, you can't actually mount this inside of the door because that would require not using shiplap as a door. So they've just screwed it on here. What it's hard to rationalize here is this, it works, no problems there, but over there, yeah, if you can imagine, there's something missing from this side, but we'll get to that in a second. I also like the fact that they were like, you know what, be sure to make it so it has a knob, but make it so the knob doesn't, you know, mount. But it's got to have a lock, which is scary when you think about it, that this room was like, ah, uh, you know what it needs? A lock. It's got this cool feature where you go to turn it and the glass part of the knob keeps turning and it, I mean, it, it kind of activates. Like that's, that's action. That's action, but it doesn't mount. It just pulls out if you pull it. You have to have a puller for your door. Enter door puller 9000. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's got a little ball and a little chain. It's adorable. It works. It works great. Like, see, watch. And then you realize it's actually a outlet light bulb socket that is precariously hanging through the door. And if you get it just right, this is literally the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. You could run an outlet to this. Well, let's, you could run a socket to this and then hook this up so you could have an outlet and still be able to control the bulb that you've mounted to the back side of your shiplap door. Uh, amazing. I've got a plan for these walls. Hear me out. So you can see that this is the side of shiplap. You, you don't, no one uses this side. What are you, animals? It's got the groove notched into it and that, doesn't, I don't, I don't think my wife can work out properly in this room if she can, if she sees this out of like the corner of her eyes. So I had this crazy idea, bear, bear with me, just to take it around and flip it around backwards. And I know what everybody's thinking, Matt, that is ratchet. Um, I don't believe uh, ratchet is the correct, yeah, yeah, it could be. Uh, this looks 10,000 times better just not having that weird groove in it. As much as like the cheapness inside me is like, Matt, do that. I kind of like that we're reusing the shiplap that was original to the home in like one spot in the home. I want to do the rest of the basement with shiplap too, but I think it'd be cool to have like one room where all the OG stuff is chilling. I do have some crazy big plans for these HVAC duct lines and you can see I've already gotten started on it and it requires using all four of my brain cells at once. Get this, get this. 
I'm gonna take these ducks and instead of making them run above a door that we've undercut, above cut? Is that a thing? Undercutting? Above cut? This is crazy now. Left a small opening here. So we're gonna build out a, some sort of fake ceiling to roll all the way over here to get these ducks out of the way so they don't close through the door. What kind of, this is, if that, if that isn't some guy named Handy Randy's handiwork, I don't know what is. Uh, I still I can't even rationalize it. I can, it's easy enough. This is a board that we store tetanus on. Just a whole bunch of rusty straps that hang down. So that's convenient. Every home's gotta have one. Now we get to this side. So we got some, we got some fixing to do. We, of course, are gonna remove these panels and flip them around backwards. We're gonna do a little box to pop and hide that all. Gonna do a little box over there to cover all that up. This, though, we're gonna figure this out. This doesn't go to anything. Uh, well, it, I mean, it goes to something, it goes there. But there's no sink over there. So we're gonna cut it and cap it. I want to build out some sort of ledge that comes out and comes down to have like a, a storage nook all the way down. And then we will only swap the boards front and back, the ones that you see between there and mm, I don't know about there. Honestly, they don't come off very nicely. So every time you take them off, you damage them a little bit. So the fewer we can actually do the swapping to and the less I have to repair. I'm assuming they're painted with all the lead paint on earth. So I'm trying to be a little bit careful when I do actually sand them down and fix them a little bit. Uh, the idea over there is I hope that could be like a storage shelf for like all of her like weights all put on a row right there. That's my thought process here. We also need to figure out more than that one light bulb. That's on my list and maybe, maybe something with these wires. Maybe, I don't know, I kinda like them. I kinda like it down here. I should move my bedroom down here. It's peaceful. And when I have to use the bathroom, I can just take that cap off and go right in there. That's convenient.